Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazy. So the Nightgons have moved forward along with the Dragon's Rejects. Nightgons have already engaged the clan units and the Dragon's Rejects are about to do so. We're going to be contesting a base within clan territory. We're hoping to grab the base and help out the people that are there and keep it from remaining within clan hands. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like the clans have already arrived here, so we're going to push up. Um, looks like we've got some uh, uh, allies here that are trying to get to make their way to the base here. Uh, looks like we've got a few clan mechs already down here. Um, I'm really hoping that we don't get... Uh, hmm. It's, it would seem that... There's a bit of an error, or maybe not. I've been noticing there's been a, a few little quirks with the first movement. Let's just move up. I, got it. I may not be able Don't to fire shoot. here. Don't shoot, just run. Is it going to allow me to fire? Yeah, it will. Okay. I've had a few issues where on my first movement I haven't been allowed to fire. So, this guy's already gone. This guy hasn't. So we're going to fire on this storm crow down here. I'll give it to him so this is a three skull defend base mission against the clans Guess mama's gonna have to and fight you'll notice we have another ex we have an extra mech in in play so we did get the trebuchet 8k up and running I'll show you the loadout here in a second when it gets a chance to move I've had a chance to run it a couple times already it's not bad when it lands lands its attacks it's not bad at all they may wreck this base before we have a chance to stop them. But we'll see what happens here. What do you need? We're going to have to kill at least half of these guys before their reinforcements arrive. Let's get right Copy up here. That. Okay, so they've got... Yeah, they've got their full lance, five guys. Okay, this guy's gone already, so let's go after him. Um, he's a little toasty, so let's go with Incendiary. Roger. This is going to be... I, I got a feeling this is going to be bad. Or I think we're going to lose this one. But we'll see. Griffin 2C. Depends on what their reinforcements end up being like, but... These guys are going to be hitting hard, so... we got to be on our A game for this one. Uh, let's get Retriever up there. He's got more speed than anybody. Let's get up here. I chose to start a little further back rather than up on the hill just for uh, for uh, role playing sake, but I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Let's just go with a ground attack right here. Uh, I can't target that, huh? Up the hill slightly, maybe? Like right there? Engaging target. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, Taskmaster, let's get up here as far as we can go. Let's get up this way. Going full Hopefully throttle. we can get out of the forest and move around it. Get a little bit more speed next turn, maybe. Okay, Raider. So the this um Trebu this uh, trebuchet is down Permanent. one ton of uh, um, improved ammo. We got lots of standard ammo, but um, we're down we're down one ton of improved. So I'm looking for some of that. Where are you off to? Was that was that a two C hunchback? I don't know. Waiting for orders. All right, so we moved Tiger Tail up into the Trebuchet 8K. So we've got a Pirate uh, AC-5. And we've got a, a Bolt-on laser rifle. It's a chem laser. Um, 25 damage. Doesn't have all that much range. 330 meters isn't too bad, but it's got 20 shots. So it's just an additional medium laser that doesn't actually add any heat for us. Uh, we've got one medium laser and three LRMs and 10 Impera 5s with lots of incendiary ammo. We do have dead fire as well, but this guy is designed as an overheating mech. It actually does a pretty good job. Like if everything lands, it does a pretty good job overall. 
So let's get into let's get into here. Double time. Let's go. We've got lots of ammo, so we're gonna drop um, some incendiaries on this guy. Hopefully, we hit a few. All right, not bad. Not bad. At least he's standing in fire too, which is good. I hear you. All right, I saw us get up this hill as far as you can go. Got to get you up to the top. I'm going to attack the ground over here. It's going to give us a better chance to possibly hit these guys. Special delivery. Nice. Cut them all. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. These prowlers are really slow. That's like a, that's at least two more turns away. So hopefully by the time they get their reinforcements, we'll have our turrets up. Because if not, we're going to have a real hard time. Good to go. Okay, now we got two LRM boats down here. Let's get you up. And switch over to LK. Oof, doesn't matter, does it? It's all point nine, huh? Well, let's go after the Griffin. He's been hit a few times. You know, he's unstable, so hopefully we can uh, connect. Nah, that's fine. No luck. Got lots of ammo. Ready for order. It's only a ten-turn fight, so not a big deal. Acknowledged. Okay, up the hill. Same idea. Ooh, still point nine on everybody. Yeah, that's fine. Griffin it is. Yes, command. Okay, we can't push this thing too much. Ooh, this is a back shot in the hunchback. Moving to position. We can't not take this. This is the GB, AC-20. He's got no back armor, pretty much. We go all tandem, I think. We may be able to get a kill off this, if we do well. We might be able to pen and kill the ammo. But well, let's find out. Got the, uh, take the yep, there it is. One last time. I'm out of short range missiles. That's okay, you got a kill we got one kill right on that, right off the bat. That's beautiful. I love that. Let's not get too far down that hill though. Um we got a lot of incendiaries though. I wonder if we should really burn this guy up. I'm gonna be blowing my load here in this first little bit, but I think Understood. I think we need to do it. I think we need to go all out and murder these guys right off the bat. Here we go. Because this will maximize our chance to get our turrets, our and we'll have turrets as backup for this for the next wave. I don't know what we're going to have as turrets though. Standard Shredder Turret. Yeah, he's building hunting, that guy. Alright, we got his missiles, though. Well, a lot of them. This guy's roasting. Who are you shooting at? The Hetzer? What is it about the Hetzer that it just attracts attention? He's burning up. <laughs> Whittley, <laughs> Whittley meets the tr Whittley he meets our... Uh, Incendiary trebuchet. The pirate AC-5 does does more damage against. Oh man, more damage against overheating targets. Was it this guy that shut down or the other guy? Okay, toadies. Yep. We're gonna gangbang the toadies later. Okay, let's get up here. Understood. Moving fast. 
Now, who shut down? It's not you, is it? No, it's... Um, did the Viper shut? Was it, I think it was the Viper that shut down. Let's work on keeping this guy superheated. Twenty-five heat, not bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on, you guys, get up that hill. Standing by. All right. Here we go. I don't think we mess around with this guy. Gonna go to standard. I'm gonna save the improved for later. Let's keep our heat down. This guy's super hot now, too. Come on, take the leg. Reporting critical hit. Okay, LRM 20 damage. Yeah. Get over here. Moving. Mm -hmm. Cause I think this guy's the guy that shut down, right? He sure is. Let's go after that head of his. Well, he's unsteady, but yes, commander. That's about it. No shooting, just running. Got it. Drop it on the storm crow. There goes his leg. Two engine crits right. too. Orders? All right, Hetzer. Um. Err. Let's go after the guy on the ground. Roger. Full speed. Let's get him out of the match here. Ah, uh, man. Let's switch it to LK, give us an even better chance to get that leg. I doubt it, but... I think I hit something good. You did. Hopefully our ally can hit him too. Nope, it's going after the Viper. Alright. Whatever works. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get this guy on the Viper. No target. Yeah, so the damage will be 60 with this AC because he's overheated. So it does triple damage, we think, with the AC when it's overheated. So rather than tw rather than doing... Uh, was it triple or double damage? I can't remember. Anyways, it still does a lot of damage. So let's... Um, let's, try and get, let's try and get a kill on this guy. I'm going to go with the incendiaries as well. There's the torso hit. Think I hit something good. What can I do for you? He is nice and toasty. No sweat. Twenty two, huh? Twelve. Fifteen and twenty two. Er, let's go for the guy standing up. All right, a little bit of damage. What do you need? All right, this is the last turn. We got to kill these guys. Okay, I gotta decide who's doing what now. I can't ignore the toadies. The Viper's going on 14, Stormcrow's going on 1. We're most likely going to have our turrets this turn. A lot, Almost everybody goes before the Viper. Let's... Ah, that, but that Griffin too. He's been targeting the buildings, so... Um, He 
he's warm. Let's go after the griffin. Warm him up. Ready for order. All right, now you. Let's get to here. Move order received. Let's get on this viper. That should be enough to kill, I think. Confirm. Yep. Okay. Tangled down. All right, now. Yep. Sarge, let's get you over here. Acknowledged. I want to see if I can push this guy. Uh, I'm not going to be able to push him back enough. I was hoping to push him back so that our trebuchet could shoot at him before he gets a chance to cool off. But let's just uh, dump a, a whole bunch of stuff into this guy. Warm him up with some more LRMs. Okay. Maybe he won't use his uh, laser. Okay, those guys back there are taking burn damage. Right here. Mm-hmm. Hmm, that's not the optimum place to be. That's not bad. We're gonna go to the Stormcrow. Wolfhound's got super good accuracy, so I really want the Stormcrow with this guy. Let's see if we can get the leg. Ah, oh, we're not gonna get the leg. We don't have enough damage. If we hit with everything, then maybe, but sure, at 41%, it's not gonna, not gonna cut it. Let's try for the torso. Lock in time. Nope. Oh, now I'm just tearing you up. You are. There's our turrets. No. No. Oh, that guy bailed. Beautiful. Oh, he decided to shoot. You poor bastard. You poor bastard. I got something for you. Um, I think we want to go you here. Move order confirmed. Not the best position to be shooting from, but we're going to do it. Let's hit him hard. Nice. Um, can we get a direct line of sight on the guy anywhere? Just barely from here. Copy that. Let's do it. Good chances to hit. All past my guy too. I thought we were gonna hit my own guy, but nope. Waiting on you, Commander. Skills getting a little better, so it's kind of a bonus. Let's try and get some instability on this guy. I keep forgetting to switch this to LRM. Um, let's go with some standard. Hopefully get some more instability on this guy. Oh, that landed short. If you ever think you're going to fire a short round, you stop and don't do it. Yeah, look at those chances to hit. Copy that. Yep, Hot, heavy damage because this guy's overheating too. Here it comes. And he's done. See what I mean? This trebuchet in those situations when he can get, get that shot on, it's working great. Oh, perfect timing. Come on, hope, hopefully those turrets can, can basically wreck this guy. What else do we have? Oh, we got our... We got Rusty. Can you get a direct line of sight on those toadies? I think you can. Can you not get a direct line of sight in the toadies anywhere? Really? Nowhere, huh? All right, well, let's just move here then. Small border received. 
I know they're going to have guys coming from this direction, but I don't know where the re remainder of their guys are going to be coming from. Nice. Well, at least we got half decent turrets. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Shit, from behind. Nope. Where'd they land? That was a crossbow. Oh, up in the hill over there. Okay. Up on the hill. They got range. Guillotine. Hellbringer. Shadowcat. Falcon. Crossbow. We've got we've got a crossbow already. And in my I've been doing a couple of uh side battles and I picked up a uh, rifleman. Yeah. But I'm not sure if I'm going to use it or not. I'm trying to only use mechs that I get while we're playing with this like inside this series, not on the side. It's those missions I take are just to make financial reports usually. Engaging with time. Or to, or get equipment. So I usually just choose equipment pieces, but I ended up getting three parts of a Critical rifleman in a roll. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. It's just, it's the 60 ton version, just the standard, the double, uh, double AC five, double large laser version. Okay. Why do I think there's more guys that I'm not seeing? It can't just be these guys. Um, I'm listening. Ah, the problem is, is do we push the hill? Like, I don't think we go, I don't think we chase those. I, I don't know if we can chase those guys or not. Until I can confirm there's nobody else. Okay, those, that guy's gone. That there's a kill. We do have a fair amount of long-range weaponry. Yeah. But not a crap ton. You know? Okay. I mean, there's that... The Falcon was the guy that was shooting the, um... The PPC... Oh, they're all over here. Hunchback 2C. Oh, it's missile and energy. So there must be another lance back here as well. So they're all on this side. So we can push then. This guy's still cool. He's gone already though. Let's just drop some regular round. Oh, we got chaff. LK, right? Let's fire some LK on this guy. From position. Get a little bit of damage in early. Yeah, there's another guy. Don't kill our don't kill our vehicles early. Yes, Commander. We gotta get over there fast. This guy does not have a lot of speed though. I copy. It's got a 250 core just like the other guy, but we don't have this we don't have speed. Timberwolf. Oh my god, they got some really good guys here. And a Timberwolf. Oh great. We got the ammo. Who do we use it on, though? That's the question. I guess we shoot at this guy because this guy, this guy has already moved. So, set some fire down there. So if they move forward, hopefully they walk through it. Piranha. Okay. What do you need? I don't know if we got the juice for these guys. They definitely have the range on us. I can't just sit back or they're going to just wreck the base from a distance, I think. Okay, add a bit of heat to that guy. 
Still under though. Jesus. Reporting internal damage. Yeah, I don't know where he hit you either. It's probably what he's got. What Ultra Tens? This guy? LBXs. Ah, oh, great. Shadow Cat. Oh, man. That's a lot of missiles. As long as they're like SRMs or something, you know? If they're LRMs, it's a different story, but he hasn't fired them, so I, I don't know if they, I don't think they're LRMs. I think he's all short range. Okay. Awaiting orders. You're running nice and toasty. Just within range. Just within range. Gonna go with improved in this guy, get some early shots in on him. Okay, a little bit of damage on him. That's where the Artie's gonna land. We're gonna put Artie right in there. Probably gonna do a, a uh, attack ground, but I, I think I need to get the Helopolis up close so that at least these guys start shooting at him. He's got so much armor on him. Okay, pulse laser version. I hear you. I need you into battle, buddy. All right, you can see it. them. Max speed, no shooting. Let's go with Chaff. Nice, nice, nice. We really could use that and that was just came at the right time. Don't run away! Don't get behind me! We're here to help you out, don't hide behind us. All right. See if we can get a knockdown. Good chances All to hit with this thing. He's unstable, that's why. All right, Rusty, yeah, you too? Where are you? Okay, get in the road. Same guy, please. Um... Yeah, let's burn the LK early. Fire a full salvo. Critical hit. There's the knockdown. I think our yeah, our turrets are gonna go after that guy now. Okay, pilot injury. No, oh, we don't have any other Orders. turrets that could shoot at that guy. They're too far away, that's why. How do I want to play this engagement, man? Let's get in the trees. Let's move. I want them to come forward, so I don't want to move out too far to engage them, but then if I don't move out to engage them, they may not, um... They may not move, like they may just stand back and kill the buildings. Okay, he's taking the uh, barrage right on, so that's good. Oh, nice hit on that one. Nice hit. Commander. You don't have the range unless you get real close. Let's get into here. We'll use your AMS. I'm gonna switch it to overload. Let's get to right here. It's gonna heat us up, but. Um, It'll protect everybody here. Let's 
So they can kill three buildings. They haven't got one yet. It's on round five. I'm here. Okay, I took a headshot. Jesus Christ, really? Wait, that's where the AC is. Let's turn this way. Let's try and get on this guy on the ground. Standard ammo. Roger. Couple hits. At least these guys are kind of moving forward, you know? They just have the range though. Like, look at that. There's not a damn thing I can do about it. Yes, Commander. Affirmative. Um. Man, we're really heating up. Let's just go straight up on this guy. Okay, nice. That frees up other people to shoot now at somebody else. I was thinking about only firing one to drop some heat, but if we need to avoid shooting for one turn to drop our heat, we can do that. These guys aren't at optimal range yet anyway. Rusty, what is it, man? That hats are... Sorry, sorry to put you in that, but... They just don't like... <laughs> They don't like the hats here for some reason. Nobody does. Ah, oh, man. Good thing these buildings have got lots of hit points. Yeah, good thing I put that AMS on overload, too. It's soaking up a lot of those missiles. That Wolfhound's going to be hot as shit, though. Yeah, you stay right there in the barrage. Are they missing? Is that what are they? Because I don't see the building uh, damage indicator going down in yep. any way. Got it. Yeah, we don't have the ability to. Uh, 64 and a hunchback. Okay, I gotta think. Who can I kill? Because we're not going to be... I don't think we'll be able to kill everybody. This guy's pretty darn hot. 44 is a pretty good chance to hit. Let's just heat him up a little more. Yeah, great. See what he does here. So he is firing again. Couple Project. clips on the head, sir. Yeah, so he's our next target. Not by choice, but he was the one that gave it to us. Duh, that wolfhound's gonna be so hot. He got eleven of those got el got eleven of those you? rounds though. All right, let's walk it up to here. Who do we want you on? I don't know who the most dangerous guy is yet. Falcon's already taken damage, so I think maybe we... That's not bad either. 30% in the Timberwolf. They're all spread out, though, so it's not like we... I mean, this is the, probably the closest that maybe we hit this guy. I gotta think who we can kill here. Let's go after this guy. Um... Yeah, we'll go this route. No sweat. All right, iffy. Shooting the piranha, huh? Ready for orders. 
Still got lots of armor on the head, sir, so we're all right. Let's move up to here. 46 on this guy. Let's go after the Falcon. On it. I'm out of LRM. No, you're not. Yeah. You're just saying that because you want to go home. I'm out of LRMs. Can I go now? No. Everybody fights. Nobody quits. Roger that. All right, hammer this guy. All right, we got our turrets too, so hopefully the turrets can do some damage. Well, the one turret can do damage against that guy, maybe. The barrage coming in might do some damage. Yes, shoot for that guy. Oh, you're shooting the Prowler. Oh, I thought he was shooting my uh, Helopolis. He did hit him, though. What's up, boss? He did hit the Helopolis. Let's just walk to here. We got range. We don't need to run it up. We're going to go after this guy because he's overheating. Pretty good chances to hit. I mean... Oh, I forgot to switch to... <laughs> I've been using standard ammo. Right? Because the AC itself does more damage against overheating targets. So there's no real necessary need to go to incendiary right away. Uh, if the target's already overheating. So... Yeah, let's go this route. Oh, we hit, too. Yeah, that was, you know, um, Fist of Dorne has been mentioning this for, like, almost every series I play on, to, get to use that pirate AC5. And I had my doubts continuously over and over again. I don't anymore. We need to get a mech that can put a pair of those, one in each arm, and then have like clan LRM racks with incendiary ammo or MRM 20s with incendiary ammo, one in each torso and the shoulders, like make it like a, like a, uh, a timber wolf or something like that with a pair of these pirate AC fives and the, uh, incendiary ammo for, uh, either MRMs or LRMs or something. I'm not big on the MMLs anymore, but we, we could use those too. But you could get, you could use, like, I guess you could use a ballistic accuracy targeting computer and then use, for sensors, you can use the, um, the range increase sensors Standing if by. you're using MRMs. These guys, when they get in close, they're going to really paste us. Okay, let's not give... The big boys reason to shoot you just yet. We're going to target the Falcon. We're going to drop one of the MRMs down. And, uh, yeah, just fire the one. Confirm. That's going to hurt. Yep, it Wait is. Get in the trees. If these guys decide to focus focus fire down one of my mechs, it's it's pretty much done for. I'll make them set. Okay, nice hit. Ah, uh, we got one. Okay, we got one. Right here. Mm -hmm. How are you doing for heat? You're looking pretty darn good. You fired that AMS a fair number of times. I wonder if we should just. Yeah, you know, um, you're out of range, like, just sit right there. Yeah. Sit right there till they close a little bit and then go after them. Let's move you over here. On it. You got to keep people moving here. Okay, let's get some crits, hopefully. Nope. I don't know why you're laughing. It's only a jump jet. Q. 
can't move very far, so... And he's freaking accurate with the PPC. Good thing it's not a clan ER PPC, because that would be bad. Ooh, okay. As long as that's not meant for me. I don't think they've... Receiving you. I'm questioning whether or not they've got enough juice to pull the buildings down. Let's get to here, because we got a nice okay. solid red line on our Go. guy over there. Get that AC in a little better fire range. Let's go after this guy. Copy that. They hit again. Look at the heat on that guy. That's crazy. I'm, I'm shocked he's not shut down yet. Well, somebody's got an improved heavy laser. Or improved medium or something or other. That was a big, big chunk of damage in that prowler. Crossbow. Come on, buddy. Just hang in there. Don't bail out. Just hang in there. One more turn is all I want from you. Actually, let's do... Not in the open. Let's do this. Position confirmed. I think I'm just in range here. No. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I was in range with the uh, SRMs, but I'm not. All right, firing. Attacking from the vision. Waiting on you, Commander. Keep walking Don't it forward. Me twice. Walking it forward. Now, how much stability has this guy got? Wait, that, what turn is this? We're on 17. So that guy's going to move. 24. 24. If we get lucky and hit this guy, we might be able to knock him down. I'm gonna go chaff, though. You betcha. There's the knockdown. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I res resisted the injury, but that's fine. So we're almost done the uh, the clan area here. There's a couple more battles coming up with the Night Gods. I've actually already recorded them, the two battles after this one. Uh, and then we're done with the clan territory. So we got options to move on to, to uh, go to some of the other planets in the system and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do here. Standing by. I'm also open to a lot of suggestions. If you guys got suggestions, please feel free to throw it up, what things you might want to see. Let's go... Um, let's do it this way. Present some different armor with the Hetzer. Go after this guy. I want to just dead fire kill this guy. I think so. Taking a shot. As much as I want to save, like, Squad mech parts and hit. stuff, I think the more we kill, and the, you know, the better gear we'll get overall, because we're not going to be able to take everybody down, and I don't think we'll be able to put, a, put together a mech from any of this. Even if we focus fire on both those Timberwolves, Good to go. I, I don't, I honestly don't think we would be able to, uh, Location confirmed. Save enough parts to be able to put one together. Alright, this is probably a kill shot here. Confirmed. We'll see. Yep. Just enough crits, you know. Hostile removed. Okay, that guy's down. That's the Nova back there, okay. Oh yeah. He's in the barrage too, so he, 
in a barrage circle, so he might actually uh, go down with the barrage. That'd be nice. I wonder if if he died by barrage. Oh, never mind. They stole my kill. Just wondering if he died by barrage, if um, the mech that fired the barrage would get credit for the kill. But probably not. Alright, those guys are nice and toasty now. This is our next target, Shadowcat. Commander. What turn is it? Round seven. So we got four rounds of firing, including this one. Can we take a timber wolf down? The shadow cat for sure we can pull down. It's like 45 tons, I think. Hunchback 2C is 50. But I say we leave him alone because he's got a lot of missiles. Ah, it's such a hard choice. Let's go after the Shadow Cat. I know we can kill him. He's got an LRM-20 and a large heavy laser. Okay, tag's on. That's good. Two leg hits. It's nice. Pran is coming back. Get them guts up, buddy. Heavy metal affected, whatever the hell that is. Aye, aye. Why? Oh, I can't turn my... That's what it would be. Okay, I can't turn my... Confirmed. Oh, wait, what? These guys are... Oh, the Mirdrin's jammed. Oh, that's fine. We'll just dump all this stuff into him. Copy that. What's up, buddy? Ah, I hate jams. It's always at the worst possible time, you know? Damn it. See ya. Okay, let's get over here. Let's move. I could push these guys, but because they're clans, I, I'd just be risking way too much. Acknowledge. Which means these guys are going to get away. Not much I can do about it. Um, do we commit now? Roger Let's commit. That. Let's get on this guy. Good chances to hit. Switch that off uh, and on, but not on overload mode. Ah, you missed the big one, man. Wow, you missed a lot. What are you doing? Point up the other prowler, okay. Alright, that's fair. As long as it ain't me. Commander. We'll go. Timberwolf's forward now too. I wonder if we could just No, this guy we got we gotta focus on, on one thing at a time. Let's go after this guy. Okay, he's lost evasive now. When is he going? 14? We're on 18? Okay. Still the opportunity to apply a lot of heavy damage. I think 
I think that Timberwolf's going to be the one, the closest one, is going to be the one that's next. Although this guy, uh, he's getting dangerously close, this thing. I bet you these are all SRMs. They could be streaks. Orders. Location confirmed. All right, this guy. 52%, not a bad chance. Firing. Enjoy the heat, buddy. Inflicted some heavy damage. Okay, beautiful. Okay, he couldn't do anything. Receiving you. Let's get up here. My way. Switching back to standard ammo. Engaging. Okay, nice. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. Same guy, Roger. please. Hammer him. Okay, he's done. One less target. I think this hunchback's got to go. I wonder if those are just big rocket packs. I wonder if he's got rocket packs. What can I do for you? Okay, you don't need to move now. All right, does this guy better direct? 65. It is. And then we switch this guy to MRMs. Are we in range? We are. Incendiaries. Let's fire. Got it. Okay, he's our next target. Only because he's too damn close. He went on 16. I'm interested to see what he goes on now. 18. He's faster. Uh, we're, we're pretty fast here too, so... Commander. Um, what are we looking at for armor here? He's got a fair bit of armor on the back. That's his left leg. Getting over here. Location confirmed. Come on. Let's go after this leg. And yep. Pulling the trigger. Nice. Not enough, to put, not enough to bring him down, but great damage. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? He's pretty streamlined, man. For a hunchback, this pretty streamlined looking hunchback. Like I love the way the the missile racks aren't that like a big blocky blob on the shoulder. It's kind of got that sleek kind of angled back look to it. Pretty cool looking. Standing by. Um That's everything on this guy. Acknowledged. Yeah, it's only the, uh, uh, we could kill this guy too, though. Nope, we need to stay on target. Let's go after this guy. I'm gonna just hammer him. Fire. I want to put his ass on the ground. There goes the left side. Oh, he's got ATMs! And he hasn't been firing them? Medium heavy lasers, too. Yeah, what can I do you for? That's shocking. That's like really shocking that fact that he wasn't firing those ATMs. Uh, that's going to be a kill probably. Yeah. All the damage was transferred to the CT. Yeah. All right. Well, we're one mech up. From where I thought we would be. Let's get over here. We're going to start bringing our lighter guys down this way now. If 
but I want to have you to in a position where you can fire. Let's shoot at this guy, and we're going to switch to um, LK. I'm taking this shot. Nicely done. This whole nice. side's gone. It's going down. He's done. Two down this turn. Okay, they got what? Two, four left, right? We might. Round eight. No, we won't be able to do it. We got two rounds left. Because we're pretty much done this round. So, Mad Cat. Um, or, sorry, Timberwolf here. This guy we got to go after. Ah, the Nova might be more realistic to kill, though. We've gotten really lucky with who they've been targeting. On my way. Okay, we're gonna go into we're gonna go into the red here, but I'm gonna go after this guy. Firing on target. Get a start on him. Yeah, you run away. Their fixation with the prowlers has been beautiful. The fact that they haven't in, like moved up to engage Waiting on you, Commander. has really saved us. Okay, direct fire. Switch this back to LRM. Let's go with chaff on them. Artillery hit. Nice. Blinding flares on. I wonder when he goes next turn. Oh, he's going now. Hang in there, Rusty. They blown past my armor. You'll get to respond. Here. You will get to respond. I think it's too late to uh I think it's too late to move around. Don't have enough. We had two more turns, maybe, but we don't. So let's just go on this guy here. Uh, switch to incendiary ammo. Oh, yeah. Ah, we missed. It's all right. Standing on fire. That's all that matters. You'll get that plus fifteen chemical heat next turn. Okay, a little more damage on him. Who do we have left? Both Any missile other? units. So, Hetzer took damage to the left side. Coordinates received. Just give it to this guy. All weapons are gone. It's the stability game we're looking at right now. Confirmed. Let's get into here. He lost evasive yet? No, he hasn't. It's nice and toasty, though. Okay, we got this round plus one more. I'm here. Yeah, let's not get to a direct line of sight of those guys up on the hill, but let's move in. Let's move. Let's move in and uh, just attack this guy straight up. Um, how are you doing for heat? Let's switch to uh, incendiary and add some more heat to this guy. Acknowledge. Okay, a little bit, not much. Long range missiles are but out. He is unsteady though. It's the guy in the hill with the Goss rifle. Still shooting on that prowler. I'm fine with that. You want to stay back there and shoot the prowler all you want, you go right ahead. Yes, Commander. I'm thinking we're not moving. We're just going to shoot. Um, let's just go with one. We'll go with two next turn. 
And the laser. Firing him. Okay, good stability damage. He did take a pot shot to the head, though. What's up, Commander? What's up, Commander? Um. I say we just shoot him, put the tag barrage on, and land at the end of turn 10. Locked on. It could just. It, that could be our luck. Um. I'm listening. Our lucky charm. If we don't get this guy, hopefully, uh. If I push this guy, he's just gonna murder me. Well, that is a pretty sweet chance to hit. Let's do it. I think he's going to have his... He's going to be on the ground this turn. He goes on 14. So what do we got? We got 12... Nine, we got artillery coming in earlier. Yeah, we still got more people coming in earlier. So let's... How are you doing here? Let's OP this leg. Damn it. Looks like we got two hits on it, but that's about it. Not sure what happened with that lag there. A little bit of a lag spike. Okay, you just keep missing. Good with that. Aye, aye. Let's move. Okay, this should put our... Uh, uh, puts him in range with everything, I think. Yep. Gonna hit him with everything. I'm gonna switch this to incendiary though. Aye, aye. Not enough for a knockdown? Scored a crit. It is? And he's overheating by just like a couple points. Which means our AC5 is gonna have a field day with this guy. Now do we wanna switch targets or do we wanna go after this guy and try and kill him? I think we switch targets. Gonna go with the chaff firing on this guy. Time to die. Nice hit. Alright, make it harder for him to see us and shoot at us. Yeah, you just stay right back there. There goes our building. Friendly structure down, Commander. I'm actually shocked that it's uh, only one building that he's that they've killed so Stand far. Alright. 53. We can definitely take that leg. Or do we try to go for the other one? Ooh, it's iffy. Let's go for that leg. Okay, there's the one leg. And torso. Oh, that was a torso. Oh, he's gone. He bailed out. When you're up against the best, you'll die like the rest. Alright. Um, we got 48 rounds left. Let's fire them. Fire 30 of them anyway. We got some SAM ammo left though, so it's not so bad. This guy just took a shot to the head. Man, if they, if they really decided to push those buildings, we would have lost for sure. Alright, Rusty. My way. You keep your side turned to the enemy. Your your good side, that is. Come here, knock him down, guys. Knock his ass down. Nope. Nope. I'm here. Yeah, if we had a, just a few more turns. 
A couple more turns is all we needed. Let's go for the knockdown. I'm taking the shot. Have a seat, buddy. Got past the arm. You're not leaving here today. They're only getting out of here with two heavy mechs. Yeah. I wish we could go after that guy. But let's just play it safe and not take any damages. Are we act do we actually hit anything there? I have no idea. Good to go. Same thing. I'm gonna make Sure. Hostile eliminated. Man, we're shredding these guys now. This is the last turn though, so we can't get another kill, I don't think, unless we get extremely lucky and take somebody's head clean off, but Come on, Prowler, you need you to survive. Yes. Aye aye. Copy that. All right, let's just shoot this guy. Confirm. Doesn't have that tough of a loadout. See what he does, though. Ooh. Okay. Why do I open my mouth? He doesn't have that tough of a loadout. You know what it was? Is I saw I saw these and I didn't read this. <sighs> aye aye. Uh, you're out of range from everybody. Alright, uh, you have a break. Commander. You have a break. All right. Um, we got some. This thing's got some pretty darn good range, man. They've all gone, right? Yeah, they've they've gone. I can't believe I did that. It's just for ah man. Shouldn't have moved forward. Oh well, nothing I can do about it now. Tell me what to shoot. At least that was a hit. Maybe we can knock him down. I'll feel vindicated a little bit. I want to get the full... Well... Let's just... Yeah, we'll be short two rounds, but that's fine. But better chances to hit with those. Long-range missiles are out. Oh, shoot. The guy hit, knocked the other guy down. Come on. All right, last attack. Hopefully we get lucky. Lock it on. And that's it. Mission successful. So I think that's going to be the last fight for that Jenner. We've got we've got some other uh, um, mechs that we can put together. I can't get that head hit too. No injury though. No pilot injury from the head hit. That's kind of shocking. Where did we get hit in the Jenner though? Like was that I guess that was a CT. It was a torso, right torso. I think I'm was I running XL on this? I don't think I was. Was I? I was. Yeah. I think it cuz it was had had XL built in. I think I went with that. That's why. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. But I think that's going to be the last fight for this guy. We're going to pull this out of service. We'll bring one of the other mechs forward, I think. And I think that's... Yeah, everything else did fairly well. That was all my fault, too. I shouldn't have... Uh, I shouldn't have done that. 
We could replace it with a Griffin 2C, but we are running a Griffin 2C in the other playthrough. Hellbringer, 65 tons. Scrapper, Ace Pilot, Multi Tracker at 20. What do we got? Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Hunchback 4G. Now, this is the guy that had the ATMs, right? XL Engine. Uh, double heat sinks. It doesn't say it had ATMs, but... Freed up its... What? The weight freed up is put towards an enlarged AC-20 magazine with incorporated case. It didn't have an AC-20 though. Unless... Oh! That's the 4G. It was the 2C that had the ATMs. Right. Now we don't have any 2C parts, unfortunately. Could grab the Nova... Only two Timberwolf parts, though. We're running a Nova in the other in the other playthrough, so maybe we just go with the Hellbringer. That'll be our first heavy. Uh, three twenty-five XL engine, armed with a pair of LBX tens, SRM six, trio of ER medium lasers. That's a possibility. I think we do that. And then let's see what we got down here. ATM-12. We don't have any ammo for it, though. Clan ERPPC. Clan Goss Rifle. We don't have any ammo. Clan LRM-20. We do have ammo for LRMs. Pair of LBX tens. I could take this, but the problem is, is I don't have ammo for it. That's the tricky thing about taking stuff that requires ammo with like weapons like that is that it's just hard to uh, clan XL engines. I wonder if I t is this an Omni? Hellbringer is an Omni, right? Yeah, Omni Mac. So I shouldn't have to worry about the engine, but I should take, I, maybe I should take this and replace it on some of our other, other mechs. Fire control system flak for evasion ignore. XL gyro is nice. We need a double heatsink kit. That's one of the things we do need. That's the reason why the, the our other trebuchet is so hot right now. Um... Ugh. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah, see there's LBX ammo down here. Any Goss ammo? There is. Uh... That might be useless unless we, uh... get some clan double heat sinks. The XL gyro... That could really help out the uh, the MRM trebuchet. I thought the other trebuchet, the 8K, did really well. The overheater did really well, I thought. We'll have to see how it plays out in the next few battles. Ooh, Clan Artemis, plus 10 clustering. One and a half tons instead of two tons, so it is lighter. Uh, I don't know when we're going to see another one of these. But I think, you know what, I think the reason, part of the reason why the uh, trebuchet is having such a problem is because I had to replace the XL with a light engine. We just didn't have the weight for extra added heat sinks. So I'm wondering if we go with the XL engine in the treb. Let's grab that. Let's see what else we got here. All right, three Hellbringer parts, the two Hunchback parts. Oh, that's nice. Two Nova, well, one Nova part. Sorry, Timberwolf part. Beautiful. 
three ER lasers from the clan side of things, clan Gauss rifle, that can go. We'll keep the endo steel. We got an extra XL engine. Damn it. <sighs> Heavy jump jets, we can just go ahead and sell those. Clan mask. I don't plan on using the masks. Let's hang on to it though. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We'll hang on to the LBX ammo. Just in case we get an LBX from the uh, the Hellbringer build. Alright, let's get into the mech bay. Welcome to the grease pit. So the Jenner is pretty much scrap at this point, and that's fine. Uh, this just needs a quick repair. And then we're going to go and have a look at the storage. And see, we do have, we did, got, we have the Hellbringer. We got the crossbow, and we do have a rifleman. So, I mean, we could go with a... Now that we're, we're pretty much done in this area, we could go with a heavier build and, and use that heavier build off-world. Which means we would pull out the fire starter, we would pull out um, the wolfhound, the jenner's gone, and then we re we can replace it with the crossbow, the rifleman, and the hellbringer. That's that's a possibility. Let me think about it. We're gonna go with the help. We're gonna bring the hellbringer in first, because these guys I think we're gonna, these two guys here are gonna require some work to get up and running. But we'll bring the Hellbringer in first and get this thing ready. Ready to the three parts from storage? Sure. Okay, let's have a look at it here. So we've got a little bit left. A little bit left. Not much. Okay, we don't... Not much left. <laughs> Jesus. We did get the LVX, though, and some ammo. So that's kind of good. Let's go ahead and repair this. Integrated searchlight. Oh, that's just great. That's all we need is the searchlight. At least it's an Omni, so we don't have to repair it, like replace any of this stuff. But if we max out the armor, how much weight do we have left? Let's pull out this LBX for now. I just want to see what we're looking at for weight here. That's not bad. 23 tons. 23 and a half tons. Like if we just kind of like do a bit of shave work here. And we can get more if we replace the... Uh, can we get actual... Uh, no, we can't get endo installed. We can get ferro if we wanted to. Which will save us a, you know, a few more tons. Okay, but we don't have a double heat sink. We do have one double heat sink kit for regular double heat sinks and some double heat sinks. So that's not too bad. We should really try and build this guy with a cool build. So maybe it will be. Maybe we we, we do keep the uh, LBX. We can go with an Ultra Five as well because we do have ammo for the Ultra Five. Uh, yeah, we got two tons of Ultra Five ammo. We got LB10X slug, and we got another set of slugged ammo down here. How many rounds are in that? Ten rounds. So it's twenty rounds we can go with. Yeah, it's a pot. I mean. That could work. And then... Um, we need more AMS ammo. Um, put the laser, the pirate laser AMS on this thing. We don't have any Goss ammo, unfortunately. Or do we? Did I just go past Goss ammo, or do we not have it? Or I'm incendiary ammo, no goss. Nope. So keep my eye open for that in the store. Which is the reason why we can't use the mag shot anymore, because it uses uses mag shot ammo, <laughs> mag shot cannon uses uses mag shot ammo. We don't have any. Ah man. We do have a we do have that clan ERPPC sitting here we can use. It's going to superheat this thing, though. So we do have a lot of options that we can use this for. This guy can just be the frontline brawler. What kind of speed are we looking at? It's pretty fast, too, I think, isn't it? 5.7 is not bad. Not bad for a 65-tonner. Usually 65-tonners are 4.6, so 5.7 isn't bad. So, I mean, we've got LRM-20 down here. It's not clan, though. 
We do have a few MRMs that I picked up off, off camera. So we could go with a double MRM. Well, that's 27 tons. Like if we go with a double MRM. Yeah, we're way over. Can't do it. How much does this weigh? 10 tons? It does. So, like if we do, it could just be the um, LB10X and the Ultra 5, you know, and I could decide to drop some more armor even, like if we go Heavy Pharaoh, we need case though. I don't think I even have case. I've got one thing of case. I'd have to see, I don't know, there might be some in the store I can find. But then that would give us enough for like a laser AMS that we could drop in. Oh shit, this thing's really heavy, it's five tons. All right, so maybe not. It's so weird that like each playthrough is so different with the gear that I have. It is so varied that it's really hard to like choose what we what what to to put on stuff. Cuz I I've got what I've got in one playthrough I don't have in another, you know. Like I got plenty of AMSs in my clan playthrough, but in this one, nope. So we could do that and then we could go internal we can go double heatsink kit and then we can go weapon and come back here and go we could easily well what if we do this and we got a micro laser right quarter ton sure we could do that that's actually not that bad. How much is it? A million. We got the sea bills. 53 days. Let's go with... What do we got for heat efficiency here? We're great on heat. We don't have to worry about the heat bank. I could drop the UAV in here, though. Establishes a sensor lock on all enemies with 250 radius. Three-turn cooldown generates five heat. May reveal stealth and undetected enemies. Golden circle... I'm assuming that that won't cost a uh, my whole round to use. It shouldn't. All right, fire control systems. What do we have here? Not a lot. Indirect jam. That's actually not bad. We got the pirate fire control system. Ten percent weapon heat generated is big, no big deal. Plus one accuracy. Plus one evasion. Ignore. It's plus one recoil though. Okay, so we probably don't want to use that. Uh, thermal vision. We could use the pirate ECM. Yeah, maybe. Um... Or we could go with power sensors instead. You know what, this guy's a stand back and shoot mech, so let's go with the, uh, the pirate ECM. And we really need to get a better, like, um, like fire control systems are just like garbage here for what we need anyway. All right, let's just leave it like that. We'll leave it with the one gunnery for each of these guys. Because that, that'll help the pilot with recoil. Most of our pilots have got like seven gunnery, like six, seven gunnery right now. So that'll put it up to eight or nine gunnery, which will, which will give us another round of, another level of recoil reduction. Because this has got two recoil. This has got two recoil. Yeah, I think we go that route. See how it works out. Yeah, missile accuracy, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I don't want to add the recoil. The last thing we need is a jam. Well, you know, forget it. Let's just go with it for now. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. One million. Let's just do it. Let's just commit and go for it. Let's just commit and go for it. All right. There it is. All right, so I'm going to get right. the Jenner I'll pulled out of the, the action. I should just be able to drop this guy now, right? I got to I got to repair it first, I figures. Anyway, we'll get it repaired. I'll strip it, put it in storage, get the Hellbringer brought forward, and then I'll figure out what we're going to do with sea bills wise. We got enough for the next financial report, which is a good distance away. So I'll figure out what we're going to do. But the next episode that we play with these guys, I want the Hellbringer back. So I might pull off a couple of, uh, well, it's like two months away still. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see what we do. All right, but I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.